Hi and welcome to Tranam TV. My name is Ed Miles and I'm really excited to be talking to you about the new 2017 Shoebirth C4. Now before we get into this helmet, we're going to talk to you a little bit about the helmet and how it's come about. So what we've done is we've tried to design something from the ground up to solve all the issues with motorcycle helmets communication systems that we've seen before. So we've changed the shell design, we've got a completely radical new shape, we've got a far bigger visor and we've got some fantastic news on Bluetooth communications. First of all, let me talk to you about the shell itself. The shell itself is made with a new technique called di Direct Fibre Processing, DFP. It's been pulled over from the uh, aeronautics industry. So what it is, is a small gun that fires the fibres onto the, onto the mould instead of using a balloon mould, which is traditional in fibre processing. The advantage of that is we reduce waste, so it's far better for the environment, and we also keep the tolerances much better than we have before. So we're down to about 3 grams per shell tolerance, which is next to nothing. EC2205 allows you to have 50 grams either way. That's why we have that small sticker on the side saying plus or minus 50 grams. We're down to about 3 grams on the shell side of this helmet. So that's the technical side in terms of the shell. It's also our safest shell we've ever made on a modular helmet. So it's really safe, very low head impact criteria testing. Check it out, it's a fantastic product, very lightweight and very high tech. Moving on to the shell shape itself. We've worked with a design company called Kiska, who design things for KTM people like that. It's a really high level design company to come up with a radical new shape for a helmet taking into consideration all the things we've asked them to do in terms of the shape of the helmet. They come back to us and then we work on the helmet in the wind tunnel to make sure it's perfect. So let's have a look at the shape. First of all, you've got that rounded shape at the back. What that does is it allows the area of air to come over the top, drop down, and that can create lift at the back of the helmet. That's a bad thing. So when they design this round shape, it's good for rotational um, injury. So if you fall off your head, you glance off the floor, not grip and turn and twist your neck. So what Schubert and Kips Kiska found is that these wings on the side of the helmet, again difficult to see on the camera so you get down to your local dealer to see them. These small wings on the side do the same, have the same effects as a traditional spoiler on the back of the helmet that moves the area of turbulence away from the back of the helmet so you don't get any lift. So when you're looking at a shoe berth helmet, particularly the C4, you're getting zero lift at 100 km an hour. That's zero lift, absolutely none. So it's really stable on your head, really comfortable, you're not getting that tugging on your neck. So that's what these winglets on the side are all about, to try and keep that rounded shape at the back. Coming back around to the front of the helmet, you can see we've increased the visor a massive amount both ways, both vertically and horizontally. Your peripheral vision is increased, you can see more of what's going on the road, less distractions and much, much safer. So that's an active safety feature incorporated into the helmet. That visor is wrapping right the way around the sides, right onto those winglets to allow it to give free flowing air across the top. Again, increasing the aerodynamics and the aeroacoustic ability of this helmet. Sticking with the visor, you can see across the top we've pulled the shape of the visor towards the shell, so away from the shell and then back towards it. What that allows to happen is the water runs, it hits the visor and across the top. We've invested in some new weather machines, so this is the most tested helmet which you've have ever made in terms of weather testing, waterproofing, windproofing, all those side of things. So that visor has been pulled right away to allow the weather to come across the top of the shell. The other thing that allows us to do is to put a full fog system in the helmet. So that's the shoe berth anti-fog system running from top to bottom, reducing the amount of letterboxing you're getting on the inside of the visor when you're running the anti-fog system. That's the highest level anti-fog system on the market as well, so it's a really high quality anti-fog system built into the shoe berth helmet and it comes with the shoe berth helmet. Sticking with the visor on the front, you've still got that classic shoe berth city position that everyone loves, allowing some extra airflow into the helmet. It's the simple on off that you've had before with shoe berth, so it's really quick, really simple and no tools required. Anybody can do it, no training needed. All you do is lift the, lift the, uh, the levers here, peel the visor off the back, very simple, very easy to do. Sticking with visors, on the side you've got the sun visor inside, traditional shoe berth stuff, the best quality sun visor inside. It's U, uh, Australian UV standards, so you're getting the highest quality sun visor we can possibly manufacture on the inside of the helmet. When you saw me open the sun visor a second ago on the side here, we've increased the size of this button just so it's a little bit easier to use, a little bit simpler to find with the glove. But we've also done, if we should turn the helmet down, really hard to see, but there's a very small lever here. If you toggle that lever from side to side, that will adjust how far down the sun visor comes. You've actually got two position sun visor now for the first time on a shoe berth helmet. Just it makes it a little bit more usable and a bit more customizable for guys that have got slightly bigger nose, slightly smaller forehead, so you're not getting that problem on the nose area. Running back round to the front, just pull the visor down quickly, you've got the ventilation system. Completely new and completely incorporated into the shell, not an afterthought as it is on so many other helmets. The vents are completely integrated into the shell, built in to match. 
This reduces the wind noise, increases the aerodynamic efficiency, and just keeps the shape of that helmet beautiful, less areas to catch, less rotational forces in an accident. So you've got all that built in, three position top, and a simple click opening on the bottom, again a first for shoe berth. Worked on a lot of times. So when we're talking about visors and ventilation systems, we now have robots in the factory that test these systems over 6,000 times to make sure they work every single time. In fact, with the visor, it's 14,000 times opening and closing. Talking about mechanisms in the helmet, let's come to the opening mechanism. People are concerned when they buy flip open helmets, they're not as safe as full faces. We do not get opening on flip up helmets with shoe berth. The reason for this, we use a 360 degree closure so there's no way the frontal impact can pull away from the pin. The second thing we do is we always integrate the opening mechanism in the bottom part of the chin. This means that you're going to get, uh, it's, it's easier to find with a glove and also it's very difficult for the road to find that position and open it up. So we don't get opening in impacts. But just open it up there, see how simple and easy that was. But the best thing about the new Shoeber C4 in terms of the opening mechanism is how simple it shuts. It locates perfectly every single time. Again, those robots in the factory have worked on this, tried it, changed it, adjusted it, make sure it's perfect every single time. So it's so easy, so simple, one finger operation. Open it back up, if we come to the inside of the helmet now. The classic Schuber micro lock strap, again, one of the strongest strap systems on the market, fully adjustable both ways so you can roll it around the bottom of the helmet to make it comfortable for yourself. Comfort padding underneath, again, just a bit of extra luxury with all Schubert helmets. Coming into the top, we've got our new revolutionary thermoform liner across the top of the helmet. This reduces the amount of stitching, again, really hard to see on camera, but if you do get into your store, you should be able to see that, feel the difference when you put it on. You don't have those stitching points digging into your, into your head, reducing the comfort area. Cheek pad area is cool max, so it's wickable, so you're going to get plenty more um, sweat release from this helmet and keeping you cool on those hot days. Of course, being the premium shoe berth helmet that it is, we have got the Aros system running through it. Really difficult to see on this model, but what we've got is where the strap comes up, it goes through the cheek pads, runs around to the back of the helmet and gets pivoted on the back of the helmet. That gives you a four point pivot, which reduces the, head, the chance of head roll off. So essentially, if you have an accident, you allow 15 degrees rotation this way with the EC2205. With the shoe berth helmet, we've reduced that to around three degrees with the Aros system. This means you have less chance of the chin bar hitting your sternum or your collarbone breaking those areas, and almost zero chance this helmet rolling off your head. I mean, there is zero chance this helmet rolling off your head. It's not going to happen. Running back around to the front. So we've shown you the helmet. We've shown you how fantastic it is, one of the safest, quietest, most aerodynamic helmets we've ever made. But the key feature on this helmet that you won't see anywhere else is a fully integrated Bluetooth system. So. When you buy your C4 for your standard price of 549.99 or 599.99, depending on the colour you go with, you're going to get your microphones and your speakers built into the helmet. The part you wouldn't have noticed when I opened the front part up is there's no boom mic. So when you talk to riders, the thing they hate most is this boom mic coming across here that hits their lips, hits their chin. When you put the helmet on off, it scrapes up and down the face. It's just a distraction and really annoying. It's not correct. So what we've done is we've run the microphones in the top of the helmet across here. So you've got dual microphones here to pick up all the noise. You don't get that scratching up and down your face. You don't get that distracting part on your lips or your chin area or wherever you've got it positioned. It's all built into the top of the helmet. The speakers are built in as standard when you buy the helmet at 54999 and so are the microphones. So there's no difficult fitting, there's no cabling, there's no digging away EPS or cheek pads to try and make it fit. It fits perfectly every time in the factory. So the only part you need to buy is a separate part for running at this side is you've got two small catches when you buy the helmet. This side is where your battery goes, again sorting out the Bluetooth problem of not being able to replace the battery. We can run as many batteries as you like, you can buy 10 batteries if you want, charge them all up before you go somewhere and you've got 10 batteries worth of life. You just undo the panel, drop another battery in, away you go. We also do a dual battery charger, so when you do get to your hotel or wherever you're stopping, you can charge two batteries up at once. That's going to give you the talk time you need. No other system on the market does this. It's a fantastic improvement. It just solves that next problem for those guys that are doing serious touring. On the other side, you'll come with a blanking plate. In this one, I've inserted the SC1 system, two different systems, standard and advanced. Check the website for details on what the difference is between the two are. They look identical, the batteries are identical, but the module itself is slightly different. So, Two button operations, slot straight in under a minute fitting. You can take it out, you can put it in, run it as easily as you want. It solves all the issues of Bluetooth communications that have happened in the past. Let me explain one of the big issues with Bluetooth communication. 
As many of you have probably got communication systems in your helmet, you've probably got a big black box on the side of the helmet. First issue, it's difficult to fit. You have to find a way to make it work. It's not a problem with the C4. Second issue, it causes aerodynamic problems. This is at a thousand hours in a wind tunnel testing. If you put a black box on the side of your helmet, that destroys those thousand hours. The money you're spending on this premium wind tunnel tested German quality helmet is destroyed. The next problem, aeroacoustics, it ruins the acoustics, it's creating wind blasts and turbulence you're not going to normally get with the helmet of this shape. Next problem, safety, and this is the biggest issue in my book. The number one concern for Shoeberth and any other good helmet manufacturer is safety. When you put a black box on the side of your helmet, the first problem you're going to get an impact, if you happen to hit that black box, is you're going to get pressure point into the shell in that area, it's going to transmit a bigger force than you should be getting to your brain. That's the first danger. Second danger is rotational forces. We spoke about it with the spoilers earlier. If you have a box on the side of your helmet and your helmet hits the ground, you're sliding on the floor, that box catches, you can get rotational force on your neck. This can cause serious neck injury. So it solves all these issues. What I would suggest you do is get down to your local dealer, talk to them about the Shoebirth C4, talk to them about the fantastic five-year warranty we run with all our Shoebirth helmets, try it on, look at the great new colours we're running as well. If you need any more information, please go to tranam.co.uk to check out all the beautiful colours for this season.